General Rom Moke's Dark Trooper project was an attempt to create advanced battle droids for the Imperial military. The earliest known units made by the program were the Phase Zero Dark Trooper, and the Purge Trooper. After Yavin, Moch gained the approval to push forward the project. Using the Arc Hammer, a factory ship, Moch manufactured various models, like Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3. However, Rebel agent Kyle Katarn infiltrated the Arc Hammer, and destroyed the ship, while killing Moch in the process. After this event, the Emperor shut down the project. However, Imperial governors were able to keep various different models in their planetary garrisons. Project Floodroid oversaw the creation of the IG series Assassin Droids, a powerful combat, assassin droid. But, the project resulted in a massacre of the Hollow One scientists. As a result, the Empire had bounties placed on the rogue assassin droids. Darth Vader oversaw experimental programs that created new trooper variations of the Stormtrooper, which was at Tamara City, located on Kamino. The Terror Trooper were created as cyborg experiments that specialized in direct combat with sharpened, durasteel talons on their hands and feet. The cybernetic limbs gave them enhanced strength, speed, and agility. Other variants included Terror Droids, Terror Biodroids, and Terror Walkers. Other projects on Kamino included the Saber Program, which oversaw the training of the Imperial Saber Guard, or the Acolyte Program, which oversaw the Imperial Sith Acolytes. Other Imperial attempts to create force using soldiers included, in Eleven Abbey, when the Dark Empire created, Dark Troopers, an elite group of stormtroopers infused with the force. Or in Twelve Abbey, an Imperial splinter faction known as, Empire Reborn, experimented with Artusian crystals, which were powered by the force. Admiral Gallic Fayar infused these crystals to create a stormtrooper Dark Jedi hybrids called, Shadow Troopers. Moff Jesko Kamark believed that the Empire couldn't rely on bounty hunters for its dirty work. Thus, Kamark began Operation Death Hunter, a program designed to create skilled hunters. The project ended when Kamark's base was destroyed by the Rebel Alliance.